Hi, everybody. Welcome to beautiful Olivet Nazarene University here in Bourbonnet, Illinois. You see the college campus behind us. First day of training camp for the Chicago Bears 2019. He's Arthur Arkish. I'm Hub. And Arthur, I guess it all started with the winner of the Grand Entrance Award as Tariq Cohn slingshotted his way into town. Uh, he promised something exceptional. It was pretty interesting, and he was one of the more interesting interviews so far, too. Yeah, no doubt about it. Tariq Cohn, we know, uh, is always a great quote and never shies away from making bold statements. But Hub, what I thought was interesting, that slingshot entrance. It did remind you a little bit of Tariq Cohn's style on the field. Pretty elusive, and the acceleration that he alluded to, it is definitely there. I love the look on his face when asked if anybody looked at him driving down. He said, everybody who came up alongside me, because of course I was going the speed limit. <laughs> so uh, Tariq was very entertaining. He also did give us one line that we all noticed, though. He talked about a dynasty, and all the other players are talking about taking another step forward, not overseeing their expectations. But Tariq Cohn, when called on it, said, well, of course we got to win one, but our goal isn't to just win one. We want to win a bunch of them. Right. I don't think he was trying to make any bulletin board material on July 25th, but as Hub just alluded to, he doesn't shy away from uh, from that. And then again, he did kind of hedge a bit and point out they need to win one, but obviously the goal is going to be to form a dynastic thing here. Tariq is almost always the most fun, but we did have some very enjoyable conversation with Mr. Trubisky and Alan Robinson as well. This is a young football team loaded with talent, and Mr. Trubisky is definitely embracing the role of being the leader of that group. Hub, Alan Robinson, I believe, is only going to be 26 this summer. That's hard to believe entering, I think, year five already so um, but yeah they, they kind of sounded like leaders too Mitch that's never been an issue for him but he seems even more comfortable in his own skin entering year three hub yes it was cliche but what I thought was interesting is him talking he, he kind of embraced or really went with the trend that Ryan Pace laid out it's all about incremental development with him he said it's the small things that are going to lead to a big step again I know it's a little bit cliche but I think he's right on track with that he is and, and by the way I, I've only studied this because I've been fascinated by it actually year six for Alan Robinson he Thank will you. turn 26 just prior to the last exhibition game this year. I asked him if this is the most talented receiver group he's ever played with, and he talked about the benefit to the receivers of the intense competition eight or nine guys are going to have for five or six, seven roster spots. That's going to be the position to watch undoubtedly here in camp, as you alluded to. Uh, Mike Furry kind of made noise in the spring when he said that he thinks he has every receiver in his room can have a long NFL career. I believe there are 10 of them right now, so it be a lot of fun to watch which Hall survives. How does Anthony Miller uh, come back off an offseason of injury? I asked Alan Robinson what wisdom he could impart to the young Miller because, of course, Robinson missed his last offseason, and he said just take it step by step. Don't get ahead of yourself, and uh, if those two form the tandem, a lot of us think that they can. This is going to be an exciting group to watch. With the number one defense in the NFL, it is this last year 21st-ranked total offense that everybody will be watching, will be reporting from Bourbon A every day to bring you up to speed on the improvement in this Bears offense. Good first day so far. We'll be back to talk to you a lot in the coming weeks.